Namaste, Internet. Namaste. I guess you know what we're talking about then. Bum, 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 bum. King of the Sea, Custom Carver's Pouch, and then we've got the... Ooh, look at that. A little polished, little shiny little woosaw. I did clean this up, trying to get it nice and fingerprint free for you. That won't happen that long, but look at the shine on her. So we're in some bright sunlight. Is this light too bright? Should I go somewhere else? Namaste right here. Get it? Namaste right here. Oh, shoot. Uh, so woosaw, y'all. What do we got here? Oh, look at that. Just all kinds of beautiful. So this is the Wusa Namaste. Um, kind of uh, almost like a, for someone like me that had the chakra first, almost like a chakra light. Chakra light sounds like a chakra light. We're kind of, we must be on all kinds of hopped up energy here. We're getting fired up here. Uh, but it's a Wusa day. I like the Wusa. We have some fun with Wusa. So let's take a, let's take a peek at this. So um, if you guys don't know much about Wusa, you probably haven't been following my channel, but maybe you don't. So let's kind of talk about it. So Wusa has a handful of different designs and a handful of different uh, like cutouts and patterns on said designs. So they've got a Cosmo, which is sort of like a six arm cog gear kind of a spinner. They've got a double header, which is sort of like essentially like that right there on both sides, a little larger. Um, and then they've got a uh, the Namaste style, which is this. And then we've got the, we brought it along just for size comparison. So let's get it out. Ooh, another Carver's Customs pouch. Found them on Facebook, y'all. Uh, we got the Chakra right here. So we can really kind of see the difference in terms of weight, material, all that sort of stuff as we go along here. So, um, but yeah, so then we've got the Namaste. On top of that, they've got a number of different patterns and they're coming out with new patterns all the time. So some of the aluminums are anodized. Um, some of the Elites, um, uh, are have a well I guess the aluminums and the elites all have a lot of different patterns so this is what they call their radiance uh, design where we've got all these little cutouts coming out and then the radiance buttons that come on it um, they've got the um, orbit which kind of has these almost like uh, you would think of the electrons going around a diagram of an atom kind of offset kind of um, ovals going around it You've got the Zen, which is two uh, concentric circles coming out from the outside of the buttons. They've got the oh, something with an S, which is sort of like a radiance, but just in certain portions. And I think that's just on the Cosmo. Um, so when you're talking about a Woosaw, you got to say three things. You've got to say the design you're looking at, Namaste. You've got to say the material that you're looking at, stainless steel is the Elite, Namaste Elite, and then the pattern, Radiance. So this is the Namaste Elite Radiance. So we know where that comes from. Um, and they're just doing so many different designs, so many different patterns. Nobody else out there in the spinner game is doing what they're doing. Some people are doing laser etching and making a couple different designs, but nothing like on the on the level that Wusa is doing. So we got we got mad love for Wusa. So uh, they've got the aluminum buttons on this. Uh, now they are starting to come out with stainless steel buttons, so uh, all the haters really don't have anything left to say. Um, once the stainless steel buttons come out, I mean, what else can you say other than just just being mean? We don't want to be mean to those guys. That's a family company, and they're good people. So let's weigh them, shall we? Since there's a bit of a difference in weight, and then that might come into play with the rest of what we're going to talk about here. So we'll turn this on. Now, if you remember from my Wusa video, or my Wusa, my Chakra video, we're talking 88.8 grams, so we'll see how close to calibrated we are right now. Oh, and I had different buttons, so 86.9, 87, um, so that's probably right where we expect to be. I had the chunky buttons on when I did that, I believe. And then we're at 71 grams, right? So about a 15 gram, 16 gram difference, something like that. Turn you off, save the battery. Um, so for me, I think one of the comparisons I kind of wanted to do was just to kind of show off uh, a bit of the difference here. So when you look at the um, Elite uh, Namaste versus the Chakra, you're close to the same thickness, but when you look at the actual profile, it's gonna be hard to show here. Maybe if we stand them up. Um, the Chakra is a little taller not by much, but it also has cut off corners where these corners kind of round out um, a little further. Um, it also has these raised weights that are part of the body, so the actual material that you're machining is at least that thickness more on each side. Um, so you can kind of see how much thicker the stainless steel has to be for that, um, which also has a little, quite a bit more machining time, quite a bit more finishing work, so that's a big reason why you're looking at um, 80, 90 bucks for the chakras and you're looking at pretty much 45 for these guys, just so you know. Um, but it's also lighter, so if you're thinking about a chakra and you're not really sure, or you're worried about the weight because it is a little on the heavier side, get yourself a uh, get yourself a Namaste. And the Namastes are good, y'all. So let's talk about these bad boys. So they got the one-drop bearing in here. Let's get under the hood. Take the shoes off. See it on bare feet. Every once in a while, not too often, but every once in a while, when I hear the term bare feet, I think of like a person with actually like the bear, the animal's feet. Is that silly? 
So we got that O-ring, which I don't know if anybody else really using. We got such bright sunlight out here. I'm sorry about the fingerprints. They don't look any, I mean, it is a fingerprint magnet because it's polished in this particular version. Um, if you don't like fingerprints, they make a lot of different material uh, uh, finishes, the industrial finish, whoo, daddy likes. Um, but anyway, I also like polished. Um, yeah, I'm not aware of anybody else really doing this kind of O-ring style retention method, which is pretty quick and easy to get the O-ring out of there. You just pop it out with like a little, you know, push pin or something like that. Um, and then you've got that one drop bearing in there. You can kind of throw any bearing you like in there. Heck, hex uh, bearings work really nice in here if you want a little bit of that feedback. So, um, but they're nice. Um, so spin characteristics, you know, if, you, if you've heard me talk about the chakras, the one thing first and foremost, they make sure that they're fidgetable, right? So when you look at this guy, we got nice rounded edges. I think the term for that is filleted. So we got some filet mignon edges here. What a cut. Oh, the puns are just rolling today. They're just rolling off the tongue. Um, so we got some nice polished edges, nice and round, nice little groove here. Um, so aesthetically, it actually looks pretty nice, especially with these radiant buttons. I like the look of that. Um, but fidget-wise, boom, look where your figure lands in there. Oh, that's so good. Oh, maybe we'll pull from the outside. Oh, that's so good. Let me try and stop it again, see where my finger lands. Oh, right in the middle. We'll pull from the middle. Oh, that works. What about up here? Oh, my finger just caught in there. Did you see it just fit right in there? Boom, good. What if we push it from there? Oh, that works too. What if I catch it on the arm? Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Any way you want to fidget with. First and foremost, Woo Sauce are fidgeters. So if you're one of those fidgeter guys, um, this is going to be right up your alley. Um, spin time wise, it's really hard to talk about spin times in these guys with the one drop bearings. I've had in my spinner career, let's see if we can do the math, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, plus all the spinners I got for that um, Celestial Dreamer project, probably almost 30 one drop bearings. And I can tell you almost all of the bearings are pretty drastic in terms of spin time difference. I don't know if it has to do with the lube that gets put in there, dry versus lubed, how well they're clean. So, you know, this shocker, which has a lot more mass with the current bearing that's in there, gets about two minutes on a tablespin. This guy gets about 3.30 on a tablespin. So with a one drop bearing, it's kind of really hard to talk about spin time, but it is getting three minutes, 30 seconds on a tablespin. So we got we got a good distribution of weight and mass. So spin times aren't really, they're not really designed with that in mind, especially not with these bearings, but you could certainly switch in a bearing and probably get, I would expect to get somewhere in the neighborhood of a, with a good bearing, um, probably in the five, maybe pushing six minute table spins and probably in the seven minute vertical spin with like a nice hybrid ceramic bearing in these guys. So, um, cause they're pretty, um, they're pretty ergonomical and, and, um, for what it matters at some of those speeds, somewhat aerodynamic. So I don't know how much that really plays in, but, uh, anyway, so super fidgetable, love me some Wusa. Can't wait to get the boss. The boss Kickstarter backer doodads um, should be shipping as of yesterday. So those are going to start coming out, and then it's going to be time to see game on. Look at the light reflect off my finger here. These guys play with the light so well, too. Like, watching a, a Namaste or a Chakra or, a, or a, any of their polished ones in particular, just the way they dance with the light um, is just fantastic. So we can't really see that out here because the light is so bright and we're getting that warping. But just with any polished surface, you get these... It almost makes it look like it's flat, so despite having all these cuts, or despite this having the raised weights, when you spin it really fast, it looks like it's a flat, reflective surface, um, and just does some really cool little concentric circles. So I don't know what it is about, I think it's probably, see these little tips? They're gonna be in the same spot on each side, so you essentially get like three concentric circles on the outside, so where that little light is reflecting on the corner kind of makes this little sweep and the light reflection. Just really fun, really nice to look at. Buttons give you plenty of grip too. Um, so not only plenty of grip, but plenty of finger room with no issue with like, you can't make your fingers rub realistically. Um, whether you do a pinch grip, which this little concave in the middle is really good for, um, actually gives a surprising amount of grip. Um, or whether you do a flat grip, um, you can even get really kind of big sideways grips because your fingers aren't gonna be running into it, um, which I find is especially handy getting this side knuckle grip on my middle finger so essentially we're talking about a 2-1 PRF we haven't used that terminology in a while but I find when I'm trying to fidget with my index finger I really don't want to be grabbing it like this it kind of forces my index finger into an awkward position but if all of a sudden I can go like this now everything just lines up but I can still fidget with the ring finger so we can do push pull 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 see if I can back up so you can see that a little bit maybe we go over here no. Pull. Now I'm gonna stay right here. Pull, 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 pull. So good. 
Um, so really, you can't beat these. And again, for 45 bucks, US made, US finish, one drop bearing, super smooth, super fidgetable, mirror polish. I mean, you talk about that uh, V2 Focus being a deal, being a bargain, right? You know, 20 bucks for, for that guy, and it is a bargain. Um, you know, to, to go that next step to basically spend another 25 bucks and go from a Focus to a, to a Namaste or a, or a Cosmo or a double header Elite. Sort of the unicorn out there, those double headers don't come up too often. Now I've gotten to play with one of those in aluminum and they're really nice bars. So, um, but there's really just about something for everybody. So if you like this design, which is, it's gonna maintain that fidgetability, but you don't like the mirror polish or you don't like the lines, you get it with the industrial finish, you get it with the flux, which is this little ring and then a cutout, you get it with the orbital, you get it with the machine finish, you get it in aluminum, you get it anodized, you get it with colors. Um, Woosaw's really hooking it up over there, so they got something for everybody. So if you haven't gotten a Woosaw, uh, you need to get yourself a Woosaw. So be ready for the hype train. Hype train is in, in full effect, leaving the station or arriving at the station, I don't know. But once that boss comes out, boy, I'm, I'm excited, I'm pumped, so. I don't think we got anything else to say, but it's a nice 11 minute video. We got some good puns in there. We got to show this off in the sunshine and the warp. Um, I think I showed it to you guys well enough so you can really appreciate the finish. Apologize for the fingerprints again, but look at that light playing with the side of the buttons. So good. So big ups to you guys over there in the old uh, Chris branch and the rest of the branch family over at Woosaw. And uh, yeah, guys, both to Woosaw fam and to uh, internet. Kisses, y'all.